I'm Ted Dance. And I'm Kristen Bell. And we are going to describe our new show, The Good Place, on NBC using these six random words. I'm picking three. And then we will work them into clever conversation, but using the word. Ooh, oh, wait, you don't get to pick, you don't get yeah. to choose one. The following program. Modern style. Well, first off, can I just say, Yeah. spoiler alert. Go ahead, whatever you're gonna say. <laughs> the good place is the afterlife, where all of our characters wake up after they've died. There are a lot of twists and turns in the show because it's not what you might expect. Everyone in the afterlife is paired with a soulmate, otherwise known as a bay. As a what? A bay. It's like short for, for babe or baby. Oh, thank you, thank The you. kids say it a lot. Every one of your actions uh, in life has a numerical point assigned to it in our, in our world. So if you've done something you know, this good, you get this kind of point. If you've done this bad, you get this. Point. So people that have led kind of heroic lives tend to get into the good place. What is the bad place like? I can only play you a brief audio clip of what is happening there right now. <laughs> well, it doesn't sound awesome. The concept of the show can seem a bit surreal because we're dealing with a lot of ethical and moral conundrums under the guise of the non-reality existence in The Good Place. If you don't watch The Good Place on NBC, there will be a lot of heartbreak in my family.